Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video, we are going to be continuing the 2022 beginner scripting series. So if you haven't checked out last video, make sure you go ahead and check that out first. We talk about things like properties, uh, we talk about what scripting really is, we talk about the different types of scripts, referencing, game services, that's really important. And we talk about how to change properties with the script and data types. All of these are really important, and make sure you understand them before you watch this video. Other than that, uh, you can join my Discord and ask me if you don't understand anything, and I will help you out. But let's get right into it. So right here, I have a line of code, and uh, when I run this, by hitting run, it changes the uh, part in the game, and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna change the transparency property of this part. As you can see, now it's set to 1. If we stop the game, everything will go back to before I hit run, and as you can see, it's 0, and we can fully see it. If I change this to 0 0.5, I can hit run, and as you can see, it's there, 0 0.5, uh, transparency. But now, what if I change the part's name? By clicking the part, going to properties, and changing the name property. I'm going to call this uh, my part instead. And if I hit run, we have our first error. And don't worry, guys, um, I know it's kind of scary, but don't worry. Errors are really common, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix them and how to debug them in this video. So let's get right into it. So the error says, part is not a valid member of workspace. And if you remember from last video, we talked about how all of these are members of uh, the workspace. They're all children of the workspace, in other words. So uh, it's saying that part is not a valid member of workspace. That means it could not find a part within any of these. And that's because we changed the name of part. We changed it to my part. So in this script, if I go ahead and change it to my part and hit run, it's going to successfully run the script. And that's because now it knows what my part is. When it's just part, the script says it doesn't know what part is. It, um, yeah, it just doesn't know what part is. The script's going to game, so it goes to everything from here to here in the game. And then we go to workspace, and then we go to part, but there is no part. And the script gets confused and errors. So let's say you have a bunch of these lines. And um, let's say one of these lines is an error, but we don't know uh, where the error is. Um, just for simplistic reasons, and I've already duplicated it, I'm going to change this back to part. And there we go. So uh, I'm going to let you guys know, because you're the watcher and you're learning, this line will cause an error, because it doesn't know what my part is. Um, it Basically, it goes here, and it cannot find my part. So if I hit run, as you can see, we have an error. And basically, um, we're going to talk about debugging using print statements. So if you didn't know yet, you can actually type print and then uh, two normal brackets by um, hitting shift and nine, it'll make two. And then again, we can't just type a uh, script is running. Obviously, it doesn't know what any of these words mean. It's a string. So we actually need to put it inside uh, speech marks. So for that, you can go ahead and create two speech marks um, outside the string. So by the way, if it's like this and you can't get rid of one, just go to the outside of it, to the last one, and then hit backspace. That should help a few people. But now you can see um, it's in speech marks, and this is a string. So without the speech marks, the script doesn't know what we mean, but with the speech marks, it knows exactly what to do. So if I hit run, as you can see, it says script is running, but then the error happens on line 5. It actually tells you here. But we're going to pretend it doesn't tell you, and I'll show you guys how to debug. So it says script is running, then it errors. So let's insert another one of these on every line. Or not every line, but let's say um, uh, executed line 2. Let's put another one over here. Executed line 5. Because um, this after it finishes this line and executes this line, it's going to come here. And we can also go over here and put one that says executed line 7. And then one at the end, and it's going to say finished running the script. Let's hit run and see what happens. So as you can see, it stopped, and it didn't say executed line 7, even though in the script we have that here. So we know between this print statement, because this one ran, and this print statement, because this one didn't run, or didn't run, um, there was an error. Luckily for uh, for us, there's only one line of code in between those, so we know this line of code is the one with the error. We can also confirm that by clicking on here, and as you can see, it takes us straight to line 7, or looking over here, it says line 7, we can go to line 7, and we can see. So now, what is the error? For that, we can just take a look at the line. 
and I see that my part is not a valid member. And by the way, if you don't know what the error is, you can pretend to be the script. So we executed line five, so we printed that. Now I am the script. I'm gonna go to game, I'm gonna go to workspace, I'm gonna go to my part. Oh wait, there's no my part. So the script is gonna throw an error and stop because the script doesn't know what my part is. And so there we go. The script stops and it doesn't wanna continue because um, it erred. So you can imagine how errors are a really, really big issue. Basically, um, say you had a game loop. So for games like murder mystery games or racing games, where you you know loop the game after it finishes, this can cause a really big issue because if there's an error in your game loop, um, you know the script will stop and there will be no more loops. So the game's gonna not. It's just not gonna run simply. So that could be a really big issue. Imagine the game just stops working and everyone just leaves because they're bored and the game isn't running. So errors are a really big issue and that's why we have Roblox Studio to test the game before we publish it. And right here we can see there's an error. So let's actually go ahead and fix this error. For this, I'm gonna change this to part and the script will run perfectly as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna quickly change this one to one so we know if the, if the script successfully made it here, the part should be invisible and this print statement will actually run. There we go, it's invisible and the print statement ran, it said finished uh, running the script, so we know everything's working. But other than that, that's basically how the script works. Uh, one more thing I do want to go over is how scripts execute, so the script will go line by line. Right here it's going to read the first line, it's going to run it, it's going to go to the second line, and obviously it, it ran, and it's going to go to the third line, it's going to run it, as you can see right here. And it's going to go to the fourth line, it's going to run that, fifth, it's going to run that, sixth, it's going to run that, as it did over here. And it's going to go on and on and on. Unless you have a loop, it will go back to the top, but that's for another video. But other than that, guys, that is how uh, debugging works and how print statements work. And yeah, now you guys know how debugging and print statements work. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to join the Discord server, and you can ask me anything you'd like about scripting, and I will answer you. Just make sure you go ahead and ping me. But other than that, guys, it's Rodev. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.